yes, Rio de Janeiro is simply amazing, but it isn't exactly safe. What if I told you there's another city with great nightlife, unbelievable beaches and the friendliest people in Brazil? Hey guys, I am moving to Fortaleza. This is the big test. Which one of them is actually best? Fortaleza is the fourth largest city in Brazil and the main city in the northeast, looking like a mix of Rio and Miami. Oh yes, here we are once more in amazing Fortaleza. And oh boy, am I happy to be back here again. Last time around, it was during the pandemic and this place was pretty much shut down. Now it's time to see what one of my favorite places in Brazil looks like for real. And if I messed up or not, move in here. But before we get started, I gotta tell you something. As you might know, I left Rio because of some safety issues. And now I'm totally obsessed with always having a safe VPN connection. I've been using NordVPN for well over a year now on both my cell phone and my laptop. It's included in the same subscription and I couldn't be happier. All it takes is one click of a button and you're safe from all the bad guys in cyberspace. As well as getting access to the Netflix catalog of any country and saving money buying flight tickets through the remote servers. One thing that's annoyed me with other VPN clients is how they slow me down when I'm working, especially my internet speed. Not with NordVPN. Their servers are so fast and stable I tend to forget I'm even connected at all. And now it's cheaper than ever to be protected. With my awesome time-limited offer, you get four months extra when buying a two-year plan, as well as a 30-day money-back guarantee. Check description and the pinned comments. Let's get this started. Ah, Fortaleza, the capital of the northeast, is right below the equator, meaning hot weather all year round. And Iracima is where most tourists hang out. I just love the streets. It both feels genuine and a little touristy at the same time. Fortaleza keeps switching faces. The touristic areas in Iracima and Meireles are known for their picturesque and colorful architecture, whereas other central parts are downright ugly. And when you reach the ocean, it all changes again. <laughs> You'll see. Well, no time to waste. Let's check out what we came here for. Just like Rio, Fortaleza is full of cool graffiti and murals. Not to mention it's packed with great beaches. But in Fortaleza, the beaches differ more in vibe and theme than in Rio. Coming down to the beach here always gives you a little more of that vacation feeling. Iracima Beach is surprisingly calm, and unlike Copacabana, it's not full of beach bars. Also, it's windy. I think the wind is kind of your friend here, because this is a place where it's almost always 30 degrees Celsius or higher during the days. Before the beach continues, you can sneak out on the pier to get a full view of the surrounding white sand and the skyline. A nice little walk if you're not doing it at lunchtime and burning your skin to a crisp. Here it is, my new tropical home city for the time to come. I just can't stop comparing Fortaleza to Rio de Janeiro. They are both big cities just next to the water, with plenty of awesome beaches, great energy, colorful people, and a lot of the life focused along the water. Other things are very different. During work hours, this place is quiet. There's just uh, no one on the street a regular Tuesday. People seem to be at work a little more here. Warning, you will get addicted to coconut water. Why? Because it's so incredibly warm. And they also cost less than half here oh, compared God. to Rio. <laughs> Oye, amigo! <laughs> less than half here compared to Rio. That dude was another good example. People in the Northeast are even friendlier and funnier than Cariocas. More eager to talk to you than selling things. I know some of you didn't agree when I called Fortaleza the Miami of Brazil, but I stand my ground. Walking here, there's definitely that Miami Beach feeling. 
As in Rio, the boardwalk Beira Mar is where the locals head for their daily exercise. And coconuts. Honestly, this is just too good to decline. So, three reais, huh? Paulo 15. São Paulo 15. São Paulo 15. No Rio, 10. Aqui, 3. Fortaleza wins another point. Obrigado. After all, this might be the most healthy addiction I've ever had. <laughs> You've got the idea by now, right? Fortaleza is so much cheaper than Rio. Most things cost about 20% less. And accommodation? <laughs> well, we're getting there. It's just incredible how few people are going to the beach on Monday. This weather in Rio, the beach would be half full. Here it's totally empty. Don't worry, we're just getting started. We'll soon get to the party beaches. First, a little quick break to, well, I think you know what's happening here. Five minutes without caipirinha. That's gotta be a new record. Maybe it's because I've spent so much time in Rio but I really appreciate how much less hectic Fortaleza is in comparison. The vendors here are much less pushy and very nice. And you don't constantly have to watch your bag when you're on the beach. Opa, caipirinha. And most important, how do they taste? The caipirinhas, at least as good, if not better than real. Did I mention it only costs two dollars? Hey, I'm starting to like this place more and more. But let's take a break from the beaches and go check out some other stuff. Locals here take pride in their rich cultural scene and the excellent dining options. And not the least, their beer. It's beer time! Brazilians simply love beer. And this place showcased the best they have. Turati is the main microbrewing restaurant in Fortaleza. But sitting outside can get hot. All the heat here outside is too intense. Although I'm not a major beer connoisseur myself, this place got me hooked. Unlike other microbreweries back home, this one is not full of hipsters. Opa! Saúde! Você está fazendo a cerveza aqui, nesse lugar? Sim. Nós temos aproximadamente 14 tipos de chope diferentes. 14 different, you know. Yeah, I think most people know what a cerveja is. Tastes like beer. And you don't have to sit hungry. This is also a proper steakhouse with some real solid Italian dishes. Uh, excuse me, this is not beer. I have to take that back. While here, take some time and soak in the atmosphere on the streets. A perfect little walk. So this is the uh, quaint, nice, safe neighborhood of Barjota. Right around the corner is the renowned photographic museum. Entrance, nothing. Time to be cultural. Once again, perhaps not my personal area of expertise, but I can tell you this much, paying nothing at all for checking out the work of some of the country's most famous photographers, that's a pretty good deal. Although some of the art here gets pretty creepy. Yeah, those are severed heads. All right, that's enough culture for today. Quick word on safety. As long as you stick close to the ocean, you can pretty much roam freely without a worry. For instance, to the ice cream place. That's a big thing here. Oopie! <laughs> this might actually be my first ice cream in Brazil. And which other place to enjoy it than a place that's never colder than 30 degrees? You guys ask me a lot about food, and you're in luck. Fortaleza is the place. It is time for a little beef. For the first time in Swedish gringo history, we're doing a proper visit to a churrascaria. You know, one of those places where you get unlimited meat. These guys are making the caipirinha at the table. Opa! That is perfection. So the deal of this place? It's like being at your mom's house. You just sit at the table waiting and mom will come and cook your food for you. 
Nice. Unless you say no, the plate will keep filling up. You've already paid for it, so eat as much as you can. I'm happy I forgot about lunch. And it gets better and better, so save some space. Now the picanha comes. I have to try it. It's easy to get overwhelmed. My lesson, learn to say no thank you. I'm sorry all the animals out there. I didn't know what was happening. I just said yes to everything. Churrascarias aren't all about mountains of meat. I almost panicked when I realized there's also a whole buffet of goodies waiting. It's simply not normal to eat this much. I will die. Then I learned there's a way of signaling no. Red, red, red. Another chapter, the beer. You see, it doesn't even spill. <laughs> it's just pure ice. Brazilians want their beer cold, and other things hot. Excuse me, sir, my, my drink is burning. So, not sure how to drink it without burning my eyebrows off. Let's just wait this one out. Or just use a straw. Whoopee! That was like two kilograms of raw, fresh meat, and I can barely move. But it was good. Muito obrigado! So, how are those Fortaleza nights? Much of it happens along the water and it's a little more laid back. I know that according to statistics, Fortaleza isn't really what you would call a safe city. But compared to Rio, it just feels so much safer. It's just a little less people and a little less shady characters. People around here seem to be, you know, actually going somewhere. There's not constantly vendors or other people trying to get your attention or your money. But general safety rules still apply. If outside the boardwalk area, take an Uber. Not kidding, one of the best caipirinhas I've had. The so-called Beira Mar is mostly for early evenings. Later, move up a few blocks for the bar street in Irasima. I like this setup. You just buy it out of his car. Whatever you want, he's got it. Nightlife in Fortaleza is kind of spread out. Mondays, this is the place. Opa! Pirata Bar looks like a tourist trap, but it's actually very popular among locals. You just gotta love how this place is decorated. And prices are real good. It's open five days a week and mainly focuses on the local music style forró. But on Mondays, this place goes wild. Unfortunately, it's not Monday today. Unless you really like Brazilian country music, it might be time to hit another club. Fortaleza is full of them. This will just be scratching the surface. Next place! Brazilians love live music when partying, and Fortaleza is no exception. Moto Libra is one of those bars where it feels like everyone are friends from before and the musicians just play for fun. A great first place to get a taste of that carefree and open Fortaleza attitude. More nightlife advice will be coming up. And no, as a gringo I would never be walking home a street like this in Rio. Okay, prices are lower here. That means you can live better, right? <laughs> wow! I'll just let these images speak for themselves. This is what you can get on Booking.com for $30 a night, just three blocks away from the beach. And as always, if you're renting weekly or monthly, you'll get a nice pad for even less. A standard you can only dream about in Rio. <laughs> just check out that balcony. And another thing, there is barely any traffic noise. Getting this quality of living for this price in Rio? Simply not possible. Oh, I almost forgot. Swimming pools are kind of the standard for medium-priced accommodation in Fortaleza. Did I say I only paid $30 a night? Can't argue with that. All right, it's time for the most popular and fun beach in Fortaleza, Praia do Futuro. Think of it like Ipanema of Fortaleza, right? Yeah. <laughs> this huge beach is about 15 minutes outside of town, which is kind of nice because it makes you feel like you're going out on an adventure. 
Different parts of the beach will have different themes. We chose the part where the crowd hangs out. Weekends, it will feel like a party. Wow, it was not this much people here last time during the pandemic. <laughs> Praia do Futuro really caters to everyone. There's a big slice for families, but also a bunch of fancy beach bars playing electronical music. And several places with those local rhythms. Yet another beach bar, so-called Baraca. Time to ask the locals, how is Fortaleza better than Rio? Uh, I know Rio and Rio is nice, the beaches are nice, but the place is not that safe. Here, I think it's safer and also the most of Southern people, they are not that nice. I don't think it's, the, it's because that most of the places are cold or got the European immigrants or something, but the Northeast people, they are more friendly. Also, of course, the landscapes, the beaches, and also like the parties. And really, the food sure is better here. Picaya! Ooh, it's so hot! And here's an absolute knockout punch. The water in Rio is pretty darn cold. In Fortaleza, perfect. I am not complaining about the temperature of this water. <laughs> the beach clubs are surprisingly cheap, and some of them turn into full-on parties by dusk, often with famous DJs playing and people dressed up to their teeth. Just make sure you check the schedule beforehand so you don't go all in on the caipirinha for nothing. That, my friends, it's a perfect day on the beach. Praia do Futuro, my friends. But we're saving the best for last. In the beach category, nothing beats the place we're going now. Onde vamos? Cumbuco. Cumbuco. The ride is about 45 minutes by car or $12 taking an Uber. Chegamos? Chegamos. Chegamos. Kumboko used to be a small fishing village turned into a beach retreat. And in Kumboko, chilling is spelled with a capital C. Shotgun! Uh. Daytime in Kumboko is a hundred percent about relaxing on the beach. Unless you're a kite surfer, this is a world famous surf spot. If you hate wind, you've come to the wrong place. Oh yeah, they also have horses. Look who I'm meeting here on the beach. It's Bruno Mars. Hello guys, what's up? <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> Say something Bruno Mars-ish. Uh, let's go! <laughs> yeah, he always says that. <laughs> this place is so laid back, even a raging workaholic would chill down for a bit. Especially with that sunset. But the good stuff don't end there. Although Kumbuko is still just a small village, it's famous for hosting kick-ass parties on a regular basis. And restaurants are top-notch. This one was just irresistible for a sentimental 90s junkie such as myself. This is my new favorite restaurant in Kumbuko. It's my only restaurant in Kumbuko. Honestly, I'll return to Kumbuko just for this place. About parties, check the schedule first. So if you want to enjoy those parties, uh, I guess it's best to spend the night here. The good thing about missing out on Kumbuko nightlife, you'll be back in time for Fortaleza nightlife. This is a really good rock bar I stumble upon by accident. Like most nightclubs in Brazil, it's equal parts music and mingling with people. The bands playing are great and you'll have no problem making new friends. A nice surprise. <laughs> that was a good rock bar. That's pretty much it. All right, so I guess it comes down to answering that inevitable question. Rio or Fortaleza? And the answer is, there is no real answer. <laughs> Fortaleza is a considerably smaller version of Rio. And there's no denying Fortaleza certainly feels much safer and much calmer than Rio. It's just an easier place to be if you actually want to get some work done. Bottom line, am I ready to relocate to Fortaleza? <laughs> 
Yes, I actually think I am. I simply love this place and I love the fact that it's so close to some of my other favorites here in Brazil, such as Pipa, Jerequaquara, Recife and Natal. It's all up here in the northeast. So if Rio feels a little too scary, just come to Fortaleza instead. You still get a lot of that Brazilian magic. So, more Fortaleza content coming up. If you liked what you saw, please support the channel. Thanks for watching and be safe.